Hello everyone, welcome to Less CSS Tutorials for Beginners. I am Raihan Tahir and today we are gonna learn about less variables. Okay, so let me first tell you what is variable. A variable is basically a con container or a holder which contains a value and you can use this container name in different places of your style sheet and you can get the value from it so you don't have to write the value every time and by replacing the value in the diff uh, where the where the value where the variable is defined if you change the value in that location the all the values where you have used this variable will be changed so uh, we're gonna see examples now so let's go to our code now so this is our HTML page and we uh, we are linking to style.less and our rel is style sheet slash less and we are using uh, client side uh, less processing so okay let me remove this div now so we have an header tag which is this is uh, which contains this is less this text and a paragraph tag and now let's go to our okay let me remove it so now, uh, how to declare a variable in less? To declare a variable, you just have to put a uh, address sign and then this, the variable name. Suppose uh, the name is my color. Choose a good name so that you don't get confused. Or uh, don't use names such as such vague names like which can cause problem afterwards. Uh, like if I uh, say the value uh, variable name to blue and uh, let me set the value to blue but afterwards if I change the variable uh, value to green then look it's confusing like right? the value is green but the name of the val variable is blue so cho uh, choose a pro appropriate name so that you don't get confused and uh, other people's when they see your code they can also understand. So let me give a proper name, suppose like text color, and let me and let the color be green. Oh, I made a mistake, so be careful about it. It's not equals, you have to put colon here. So variable name is this. Okay, and then a colon and then the value so the color is basically working as assignment okay so now let's use it so i want to make the h1 text color to green so color and then instead of writing the green itself i will use the variable okay so now let's run it it's already uh, the live preview. Let me stop it and again let me run it. Okay, so waiting, waiting. Okay, so you see it's green. Uh, okay, now let's change it to red. And yeah, it's red. So this is how you can use variable. So now variables are basically it's a, it's something like constant. So you cannot have same name for two items like text color red, text color green. So if you do this, then the first one will be ignored by the browser or and the last one will be uh, used. So basic 
because the browser reads the CSS files from top to bottom. So the variable which it will get from the bottom will be the final one. And uh, so be careful about it. And another thing is um, you just you just know uh, you just it's not like that that, that you have to only the uh, you only have sorry uh, you only have to assign uh, values of a property even you can uh, assign selectors in in your variable so let's check by some element or some prop some Okay, some selectors maybe. Okay, and let me assign it to h1. So instead of using h1 here, what I can do is I can assign that variable here. So to use that, I have to use uh, add the red and then not some selectors. This won't work. What you have to do is you have to put curly braces around it. So now let's go and check. Okay, so we don't have a variable for text color. So let's keep it here and let's make it red. So now let's go and check. Okay, so it's still red, so it means it's working. Now let's assign another h1 here so that we can understand it properly fresh so see both are red okay so now let's move to another uh, less fun uh, variable thing that is uh, you can also assign URLs in variables. Like suppose I have uh, an, an image in this images folder. So what if I want to use in some place like if I have a box class and I want to use uh, an image in the background. So what I have to you do is I have to go to that images folder, then that um uh, image so sometimes what happens is this path is too long it's very it's very long so it's it's hard to find and properly write this uh, path so what you can do is you can use this path and store in a variable like image url and then just put it put the name there and instead of using this direct URL what you can do is you can just sign the variable here URL so let me okay so we have to give a width just to show and a height Otherwise, it won't be displayed. So let's call it div and class inbox. Okay, so let's try it out. Okay, the image is not showing properly because it's a big image and just showing 100 pixels with an height. So, but you can see the image here, right? So, by uh, so uh, you can assign URLs also in variables. Now the next thing is you can also use properties. You can also store properties in your variables. Uh, like um, for example you can name a variable called 
PL and then assign it to padding left. Okay. So PL is padding left. So now if I want to use it in this uh, box class, what I have to do is I have to assign this, I have to use this variable here. Okay, and with maybe 200 pixels. Let's see whether it's right or wrong. Okay, so a you, you see it's uh, it's getting it's got large. Okay, so instead of padding, let's use margin and let's change the name to ML short form. Okay, margin left. So now let's check. It. Okay, so you you see it's already it has been margin left 200 pixels. So you can use variables to keep pro, uh, to store properties or values of the properties, even the selectors, and not only the select, not only the uh, HTML selectors. You can uh, also uh, keep uh, the class names, even the IDs. You can also store in value variables and uh, okay let me show you one so that you can understand like if we change this uh, selector h1 to a class so let me test if I put a class here and then if I use Class H1. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you see it's red now. Only because now instead of using direct H1, what I'm doing is I am storing H1 in this some selector variables, some selectors variable, and I am calling a class. You see, using a dot, I'm calling a class and which value is actually h1 so it is just basically this thing h1 okay so most uh, these are things i think uh, most of uh, most of the things in css like you can store in a variable and reuse it now another thing in another interest, interesting thing is you can even store a variable name in a variable like okay let's store like m l again and we're gonna store ml here so what i am doing is i am storing this name in by this variable and now I'm going to use this variable here oh my god okay let me copy this one. okay so it won't work now see it's not working because I have assigned a variable name to another variable name and I am calling that variable name so it won't work what you have to do is you have to put another at the red sign when you are using this system now you check okay we got an error let's figure it out what's it saying it's saying style.less online 23 by column 5 it is it cannot cannot do it. Maybe why it can't do it? Let's check it out. I think if I remove that quotation, it may work. No, it's not that thing. Okay, so maybe 
maybe uh, I cannot use this in assigning properties. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, margin. Let's put it at ml and then let's assign margin left here okay? one of the 200 pixels and change this to margin pixel margin left pixel and make an, another variable name ml uh, apply okay and let's store ml px here now let's try to bring this back. Okay. Double add the red and then ML apply. Still it's not working. So unrecognized input. Why it is unrecognized input? Margin. Still not working. And we, oh, I think I got it. I am such a fool. You don't have to use curly braces when you are accessing a variable which stores another variable name. So you see what was my mistake. I was putting curly braces inside these things. So you don't need to use these things. So what we need to understand is when we when you are using just when you are using the variable as a as a value, you just assign it directly. And whenever you are using the variable to be a selector or URL or property, you have to put curly braces around it. Okay? Okay, now another important thing is variables in less are lazy load so they it's not a problem if you define your variables afterwards it the page will still work it doesn't matter actually when where do you put your variables in the, in the file but thing is you cannot duplicate your variables Otherwise, if you duplicate it, then the last defined place will be selected as the final one. Okay, so that was it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Bye-bye.